Hello and welcome back to HIP. So, I noticed something when I was just looking around before we started the episode. We didn't get a claim on the province here. We got a claim on the duchy. That's huge. That means we can take both provinces and we can move this guy away. So what do we want to attack after we attack that duchy? I'm thinking probably this one, Assessi. Uh, no allies. Yeah, that seems like a good one to attack. So let's just um, move our fabricate claim over there and then over here we can attack in. Now we have more men. He says there's 1.2 not allied with anyone. We have 700 right there. Well, going up to 1,000. But we also have, yeah, about 2,600 straight off. So that seems great. Is he in a war of any kind? No. We can just attack him and get him. Seems reasonable. Yeah, we're just going to press our claim. Everyone's for it. Yeah. Everyone's for it. Pragmatists. They're weaker than us, and it's part of our it is your territory or is of our culture group. Great. Zealots don't care, and he's the only person who anyone cares about, and then I think everyone else is just returning favors to this guy. Yeah, perfect. Let's declare our war, raise up our troops, and we will merge up in our capital. They are coming to attack us. Wait, now, now they won't be attacked? Weird. Oh, it must have... There must be, like, someone who's faster in that group or something like that. Weird. Okay, we're merged up. We attack in here? We definitely can. That's where we want to be. Uh, we need better commanders. Do we have any better commanders? Uh, uh, maybe. Why is that guy not an eligible commander for our army? Because I have the gate shut. I need to open the gates. It's worth it. Now we can have better leaders for our armies. Yeah, that's much better. I don't really want that guy because he's slow. Well, he's going to make it slower, but no, it looks like we'll still get the army. That's fine. Uh, Javed is fine. Or Javard, even though he's got this uh, holy warrior that won't do anything. And Ugolino. Right, attacking. That should get us a lot more men. Don't need your council support right now. Taking out that army. Great. Now I'm going to attack into this one. They do have double defenses, but we have a uh, lot more men. Which generally will do the trick. And they don't have leaders in all their flanks, which means we won that one fairly easily. Uh, yeah, they're going to back off. That's fine. We'll head over here. Yeah, looking good. Uh, I'm going to beat up that army as well, just while we're here. Then I'm going to wait for them to move into this province, and then I'm going to beat them up here. Nice. Super simple. So we're actually, I think, capped on Warsper. Yeah, we're capped. So we need to uh, siege this down and then I think we win. Well, we'll probably need to siege down two or three. But new Jihad. Rumors about uh, abound that there is renewed talk with the court of his magnificence, Caliph Atta, of in issuing a call for another great conquest to expand the Dar al-Islam. Righteous Muslims are preparing to join the ranks of the Mujahideen uh, to call, uh, should the call to arms be made. Yeah, disturbing news. That's fine, though. Uh, we just want to siege this. Yeah. Uh, Satan has given us much. We have to give them a soul. Okay, we have to sacrifice a ruler, apparently. Oh, I don't have a ruler currently, but we will definitely get on that. Ooh, nice. We got a lot of money for finishing that siege. Um... I'm going to take all of these people prisoner. Because I'd like some money back for them. Yeah, so we want to keep this guy because that'll allow us to do our mission. And we'll get our uh, money from the rest of them. Alright. Nice. Just happy to go into positive. We do have 100% war score as well, but we don't need to worry about that right now. Who is that a child who needs educated? Uh, yeah, so... Give you a duty education. Then, if we head back to our prisoners, we can sacrifice this guy, right? Yeah, sacrifice to Satan. Baron Valent looks dazed as he is dragged onto the altar, but you can see dawning comprehension on his face as he is tied down. You ignore his begging as chants of praise to Satan build to a crescendo. Finally, it's time you swing your blade in an overhead arc, which ends in Baron Valent's heart. Hail Satan. Oh good, we can also rank up in our society now. Once we get to the next rank, 
We get more intrigue. We get the power. We get the ability to summon a familiar. Ooh, nice. Anyway, uh, we have a hundred. We have a hundred percent. So I think we'll just offer peace and force demands. We've now taken the duchy. He has become one of my vassals. That's fine. Uh, I assume that second duchy inherits the succession of the first duchy. It doesn't. Hmm. That's annoying. That's very annoying. Though the reason, uh, because it doesn't inherit the succession law, we're going to be stuck in gavel kind. I'd like to switch to primogenitor. Uh, we're not at peace, but it's because. Oh, we can't actually change it at all because we don't have crown law. Uh, we don't have the right crown law. Interesting. I guess we must have underneath the pope, but we didn't. We don't have in Sardinia. Hmm. Interesting. As long as we have one. Um, yeah, as long as we only have one son, we're fairly good. How old is our wife? 37. So we should be we should be absolutely fine as long as we can stick with one son. At least for this generation. Disaster, your fellow member of Lucifer's own, Countess Romilda of Scalenga, uh, has been caught by court chaplain Cornello and his men at arms. He now rots away in Duke Ugo's dungeon. Alright, so that's within Sardinia as well. Curses. Uh, can we... Oh, I haven't uh, ranked up yet. I requested the rank up, but we hadn't done it. Oh, my acquaintance, King Erland of Jerusalem, my son-in-law, is dead. He was killed by Mayor Jabbar of Thermada. Oh, in the Al-Fatimi religious reconquest of Galil. Oh, okay. Well, there goes my son-in-law. Uh, what about my daughter? She is 21, and she's in Jerusalem's court, so we can't do anything. That's fine. She should remarry, probably. Uh, how much land do we hold now? That's fairly good. We're also now at Grand Duke, I think. Yeah, Great Duke. That's it. We get an extra one uh, domain size. which Very nice. Uh, what vassals don't like us? Just our new guy, actually. Because we took his titles? Wait. That is our new guy, right? It is. I thought you'd be mad that we took his titles, but I guess he's not mad at all. He just wants a seat on the council. With 19 stewardship, we should be able to find him one. Yes. How about this one? Oh, no, there's the guy we took the titles from. Oh, yeah, he's pretty mad. Anyway, this guy can definitely be on my council. And he can collect me some taxes. Seems alright. The other guy, who for some reason is not showing up on my vassal list. Oh, no, there he is. For some reason, 100 is whatever we need to get rid of this guy how are we gonna do that I mean we could try and kill him fabricate evidence of his treason might be a better way though yeah we'll fabricate evidence that he's a traitor and then we'll be able to um, imprison him that works much better my grandson died of the flu okay uh, oh, that would have been... Oh, that was a bastard. Okay, never mind. Nothing exciting there. I don't want council support right now. Okay, do we have any... Oh, we do have Dejure Ducal claims. Manipolis. Who's... That is in the Holy Roman Empire, though, right? Yeah. Hmm. Well, we can't really press that, can we? Uh, we can imprison these people. What are you trying to do? Fabricate a claim on my duchy. I'm actually not that worried about it. The other one, you're trying to take revenge on Ida. Again, not that worried, but do you have any money? No, you, you don't really have any money. That's fine. A group of carpenters that we want to support or not support. I think we want to support them, probably. Yeah, probably. Prosperity going up's nice. Range betrothal between my daughter Ida... And Kajin Gila? Who? I mean, I don't really know who he is. Like, he is the grandson of a Khan, I guess. Yeah, sure, I'll accept it. Doesn't really. Just to stop pop ups, really. Right. Oh, we have somebody in our court of acclaim on the Holy Roman Empire. That seems impossible to uh, currently do. Uh, any of these people landed? We can press claims for. 
And are they all on the Holy Roman Empire? No, but nobody, none of these people have landed already, so we're not going to do anything. Oh, our Prosperity Faction is now hostile. Oh. Oh, wait, or is my, the Prosperity Faction in my... Oh, okay. Oh, well, that's fine, because it's just somebody who's just joined it. I know, we are plotting against them, aren't we? Yeah. Anybody want to join our plot? Um, we can maybe get one more in. How much does he... Ah, oh, we don't have enough for a gift on that one. Uh, do we have anybody who just wants, like, a 15 gold gift? No. Okay, that's fine. Continue fabricating our claim. Uh, Sabina, she can have a diplomacy education. Seems fine. Right, Mayor Adolin approaches you and presents you with a request to buy a small plot of land. I'm gonna take the money. The reason I'm gonna take the money is because I think we might be able to upgrade a province, although I probably should have checked first. Uh, we don't quite have enough for castle time. We could get militia training ground though, or something like that. Hmm. Potentially. Might just keep the money. It's fine. Uh, the Jura War over Thames is ended. Okay, so... Uh, I only really want to look at this one, the Duchy of Atri. Because I want to change the laws in it. Wait. How do I change... How did I see... Yeah, so that's Gavelkind in... Wait, is our main Duchy Gavelkind? Oh! I thought our main Duchy was Primogenitor. Oh no, the both doubt Gavel kind. Oh. Oh, never mind then. It's awful in all... It did inherit my uh, succession law. So I just want to change succession law at all. Oh, that's a different thing altogether, isn't it? Um... Switch to Tanistry. All we have to do is have no vassals have a negative opinion of us. That makes it very popular. Elective? Hmm... Not so much. Primogenitor we can't do until we have late feudal. Seniority, nah, we want Tanistry, really. I know some people don't like Tanistry, but there we go. It seems probably better than Gavelkind. I mean, 100%. So if we can get rid of that last vassal, we're probably laughing. Yeah. Uh, you would like me to honor your, yeah, sure. Hungarian Revolt. I mean, imprison this guy. I don't want to imprison that guy. Is there anyone new? Nope. Okay. Continue fabricating our claims. Castle of Lafayette. The uh, Knights Templar have established a new holding in the county of Nablus. Permission to settle there was granted to them by the noble Lendman Harvard of Nablus. Their mighty castle will henceforth be known as Lafayette. The infidels should tremble. Yeah, yeah. Right. We just need a little bit more to change succession law. Need that guy's uh, to be. Oh, what? You have an idea for a monument. Hmm. You want a monument? Nah. I'm okay. Um, but yeah, we can get more people into this plot as well, is what I was thinking here. Yeah, now that we have the money, we can send him a gift of 33. Uh, and that's actually the only person who's not in it who would join it. Over 200% plot power. It's going to happen soon, right? Unless we've got to, like, fire the plot manually. Uh, doesn't look like it. No. Wait, do we not have a core physician? Oh. Probably assign that one, huh? Uh. Ah, oh, there's no valid candidates. Oh. In which case, this should be marked as important, I think. Yeah. We'll get a court physician. One of your uh, scouts reports of a cunning eunuch who's taken up residence in a nearby tavern. Yeah, sounds good. I'll have that guy. Places are converting to Catholic. What were they before? Oh, the heresy. Yeah, that's fine. The ascension of Basilia Tekken. While some initially considered her to be a weak ruler, perhaps one destined to be lost in the history books, Basilius, uh, Basilia Tekken Dot um, has proven herself over the last years of rule to be effective. Okay. He's a strong Basilius. That's fine. Don't need to worry about that. Uh, yeah, there's Peasant's Revolt, which we really don't need to worry about. Let's request council support from our liege. Actually, that might be worth having. We'll accept that one. Here, military organization would allow us to get more retinues, which definitely seems pretty good. 
So for Leash, there's a whole bunch of things that we can do. Are we on our Leash's cancel currently? We are. Hmm. Anyway, we'll keep it. There, there are other things that we can do, like tell our Leash to go away and things. Uh, I'm going to threaten this Vacillator Factions. Some craftsmen want to set up a workshop. Okay. It's going to stay out of factions against me, apparently. Which is good. It means our Prosperity Factions should no longer... Oh, yes, it doesn't count. Okay. Ooh, we got a claim. I'll take that. Now, this guy, this guy's in two wars. He's attacking Milan. And he's in a peasant war. Okay. So... Oh, we're also in that, though. In the attack of Milan one. What about this? That's, that's our liege. That's a little creepy. Why do you look very creepy? Uh, probably the lunatic, I would imagine, out of these things. Anyway. Uh, let's set our bounty claims along a province. Now, probably attack in here without any consequence. No allies. Seems good. Declare war. Claim that land. Wait, we got claim, claim on the county. That's fine. Can't always get duchy claims. In fact, they're very rare. So that's why I never expected that one to be a duchy claim. But it probably cost more money as well, I would imagine. Anyway, we'll merge up. Pack down in here. Uh, we have reasonable leaders. Let's do it. They're running. It's definitely good. Uh, I just want to go into this province. A grand summoning. For some time now, my brother in darkness, Hera Ulf of Hardilson and I have been researching a proper ritual for invoking a certain demon prince. A few weeks back, our kin managed to procure an ancient clay tablet with the missing incantation. We stand ready now to attain powers undreamt of by mortal men. Unlimited power. A grand summoning. Our coven surrounds the summoning circle. The correct symbols drawn, the catty candles burning on a sickly green, or burning a sickly green, Ulf in, intones the final invocation just as I offer up the sacrifice. Distracted by the spurting blood, at first I didn't notice the man standing in the circle like he was there all along. Looking straight at me with a smirk, he says, Bravely done, child. You have no understanding of the forces you are meddling with, but I did find your sacrifice pleasing. Quid pro quo. Name your desire, boy. Great lord, I seek power. We get a blessing of Mammon, and we get three stewardship from it. Nice really good uh you would like me to sacrifice a holy person okay we'll see what we can do through my last a uh though my last act of worship has been some time ago i can still sense the inhuman touch upon my soul whenever i think about what i did i become a changed man We're cruel now okay fine our diplomacy was already zero so that seems pretty good um back over here yeah, that's a good one. 66%. Let's go siege the capital. We have a siege leader, so it's all going to be fantastic. What's that one? Hold prosperity faction meeting and send Ida into hiding. Somebody's trying to kill Ida? Who's trying to kill Ida? Oh, yeah, yeah. I hear this. Oh, we, are, we already have sent her. Don't do that. That's fine. Prosperity meeting. Uh, yeah, we'll hold a faction meeting. So, I don't know. Why don't we... Let's support the king. I'm going to strengthen my position with um, a self-congratulatory speech. Three seconds after you begin to speak, the assembled lords, uh, you know things are about to go badly. What follows are several minutes of humiliation as you struggle your way through what you intended to be an inspiring speech. In the end, you are laughed out of the room and unceremoniously removed from the leadership. How could this happen to me? Oh no. No man settled. The king of the Chipaks, King Uzlak of Chipak, has decided to settle down in Pronx and uh, make it his new tribal homeland. Where? Oh. Okay. Sure. Seems fine to me. Alright, continue our siege. Hopefully we'll capture some holy person here. My son has got become a brilliant strategist. That is great. Let's marry him off. Uh, I'm just going to use this one. We're looking for somebody with reasonably good traits. So if I head down, we'll just look at the right age group and then we'll see if we can find any traits that fit. Left-handed, not really the kind of trait I'm looking for. What's that one? 
Oh, they travel from town to town preaching the Waldensian faith. Okay. Um, the ambidextrous. Now, see, that's more like it. Strong. Ooh. That's good. Stats aren't bad either. She's, she's high up there on the list. Um, he might win unless we got somebody with two traits before 22. Got quick. Quick with better stats. Yeah, okay. You win. We lose 100 prestige, but that's absolutely fine. That marriage will go through. Nice. They are married. We need a new spy master, apparently. New spy master's going to be... That guy. He can scheme in my capital. Right. Oh, a holy man. Fantastic. Okay, we'll have them. Uh, another siege. Could be five ticks. I'm not gonna... Wait, who's this guy? He's a bishop. Now, nah, resist my foul impulses, because we need that guy. We'll accept the marriage. Oh, in fact, I should just sacrifice him now. Yeah. Um, sacrifice to Satan. There we go. As he is bound, he appears to be mumbling prayers through his gag. He is sweating profusely, either due to the heat from nearby pyres or from fear. His holy vestments hang in tatters already, exposing his chest. As the appointed hour draws near and the chanting of your brethren builds into a crescendo until finally it is time. Plunge the knife into his heart and we have succeeded in our mission. Also, probably get some money from these couple. Nice. More money? Nice. That's a lot of money we're getting for that one. I'm going to finish the siege because we might actually get something good from it. We didn't, but okay. Uh, and I'll just offer peace. There we go. Taking the province like we wanted. It's now our province. No problems whatsoever. Alright. We will dismiss this unit. Keep our retinue there. And we are still trying to plot. Yeah, still got much chances ever. Right. Well, I think it's time to end the episode there. We actually got quite a lot of land there. We got a whole duchy and another province on top of that. We are very, very quickly growing inside Sardinia. Well, I think we might do, actually. If we can take enough of Sardinia and break free... That would then be the time to join the Holy Roman Empire or the Byzantine Empire. And then we can see where we're going. I think I do like the idea of trying to create um, the Roman Empire as kind of like our goal at, at the end of this. But we'll see. We'll see. I forget what the actual conditions for it are. Then it may be different in the mod. But yeah, there isn't anything there. I think you have to hold certain provinces or something like that. Uh, it doesn't say anything here. But there's definitely a way of doing it if you hold enough provinces. I think you have to be the right culture. I'll, I'll look it up. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.